I'm here at the 2022 Minneapolis Boat Show with Kelsey at the Yamaha booth. She's going to tell us a little bit about this bad Mamba Jam that we got behind us. This is our all electric engine, our first entrance into that market. It's cool. called the Harmo. It has the equivalent thrust. Of Hey everybody, I'm Captain Peterson. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, you believe in continuous improvement, you love outdoor adventures with your friends, and you like cool gear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We have many more videos to come. It's called the Harmo. It has the equivalent thrust of a 9.9 .9 horsepower outboard engine. It's got 140 degrees of steering, and it can tilt 73 degrees up out of the water to keep it out of the water while you're on plane if you're using it as a thruster engine. So you can like trim it up really high and like spray people behind you? Yes. Do people do that? No. Is that like a thing yet? We should definitely do that on video someday. We'll try awesome. it. Yeah. I mean, that's something you do anyway with your regular outboard, but this one you can like get really good with it. Exactly. All right. Well, what um, new technology did you guys put in this thing? So we have the rim drive impeller. Um, it's magnetic. So it not only leverages the center axis, it leverages the outside edges. So you get a lot more efficiency. Okay. So physics. Physics. I'm not a scientist, but it sounds like it worked to me. Science and math is hard. Yeah, it is. This is a 48 volt system. Most people are just using marine grade batteries. Correct. Um, and you guys are working on a, what do you say? Lithium. We're currently studying what will be the best lithium battery to use with this. Okay, so the scientists that design the impeller and all that stuff are working on the lithium now. Are there probably yep. different guys? There might be girls too, who knows? Might be the same guys. Maybe. Well, never know. I tell you what, I trust Yamahas. If I had to put uh, motors on my boat to go 300 miles offshore, they would be probably my top choice. They probably have the best. I mean, there's a couple maybe that I wouldn't put, but 95% of Yamahas, they're bulletproof. I've had multiple throughout the years. And I lived on Dog Island water access only for a year. I brought my kids to school on the boat every day. Rain, sleet, snow, even in Florida, which is hard to believe. We had a 25 horse outboard Yamaha. And that thing used maybe a gallon of gas. It was like, 18 miles round trip or something. It was something ridiculous. And that I trusted that with my kids' lives and my life and some stuff that I had no business being out in that we got stuck out in. So buy a Yamaha, they're great. Where I can see this motor being popular is potentially like pontoon boats or places that are real conscious about the environment, like protected lakes, like in the city of Minneapolis where we're at right now. You can't use gas engines on that on the lake. So people could use one of these on a pontoon and, and do little trips or ferries or even like party boats would be a really cool thing. You know, you I could really see it being like a commercial ferry use. You know, I think there's a lot of people, it's also got that big thing around it for safety. So for kids for like a pontoon boat, if you just want a boat to go out and do like swimming and stuff with your family, I could see this also being kind of popular. Absolutely, so the high degree of thrust and maneuverability with the 140 degrees of steering would definitely give you the ability to maneuver a large pontoon boat on the river in wind or current, whereas smaller engines may never be able to do that. So what I'm kind of hearing from you is this is kind of like the Tesla Cybertruck outboard motor, so you can go sideways like the crab walk they're talking about doing? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think Elon Musk should probably come and check this thing out. We'll give him a run for his money. Probably. If you believe in continuous improvement, you love outdoor adventures with your friends, and you like cool gear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side.